guys, John with Vapor Honing Technologies today showing you another wet versus dry blast comparison. A lot of people in the world ask the question all the time, like what's the difference between the two processes? Why would wet blasting benefit me? We're here to show you why on some 12 gauge carbon steel. Um, what we have, we've done, we've masked the part off. This side here is dry blast, the other side is wet blast. Um, what you're going to notice is dry blasting obviously is more aggressive because of the impact nature. The abrasive has nothing to cushion itself against the material, so it's impacting harder. There may be times where you need that impact, but let's face it, the majority of the time we do not. So we have more impact on the surface, we have more erosion on the surface from the impact, we have more potential to warp the part, specifically if it's a thin material in the dry blasting operation. We don't have the ability to mix abrasives like we do in the wet system and we don't have the ability to run fine medias, which we can in a wet system. But over here, looking at the two samples, um, the wet blast sample is certainly less aggressive. We wanted to show you that glass beads for stripping metal in a wet blast cabinet is not a good idea. Specifically, obviously, if you're gonna be prepping this steel for a coating, um, which you would certainly want to do, otherwise you're gonna have flash rusting. So the glass bead comparison, the dry versus wet, the dry is more aggressive, the wet is certainly less aggressive because you can see the mill scale that actually did not get removed on the part. It's still here. It's a lot cleaner, it's not as oily, that's for sure, but it's definitely not completely removed of mill scale. Uh, so it shows you the less aggressive form of blasting between dry versus wet also shows you what not to use when you're prepping for coatings in a wet blast system and that is certainly glass bead. You do not want to prep for coatings. For more content to come, please like the Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, if you have questions on a particular application such as this, give the sales team a call. They're here and happy to help. Again, thanks for watching.